What's up, YouTubers? Jose Quiñones, the CNC dude here. Today, I'm going to be doing some turning in the woods. Hmm, it's not working. And I know it's not the fuse. I'm wondering. Yeah, I think this tree ran out of juice. You know, I think what I need is a battery operated lathe. However, lathes like this operate with a brush DC motor requiring up to 170 volts DC. If I were going to use batteries, I would need to connect in series nine of these batteries. That's too many batteries. So I think I have a way better idea. So what I have in mind is using a brushless DC motor. Brushless DC motors are way much more efficient than brush DC motors. And thanks to their higher efficiency, a brush DC motor can be built in a much smaller form factor but giving us uh, way much more power. You have seen brushless DC motors being used extensively in power tools, drones, appliances. That's a cute little guy. So today we're gonna put one on our lathe. Ah, we have a good decent size here. You know, something like this might actually do the trick, uh, but, uh, but it's sensorless. I, I'm, I'm looking for one with whole sensors. <laughs> oh, that's the one! Exactly what I need. Eight millimeter chop with three millimeter key. This is gonna be awesome. It's gonna fit perfectly on the lathe, and it has whole sensor, so awesomeness. So in order to mount the motor into this cavity, I'm gonna have to machine two parts. The first one is a spacer, and then I'm gonna need a 90 degree angle bracket, which is where the motor is gonna be mounted. For this design, we're going to use a new Pac 5523 baseboard called the Q-Turn 523. I have explained in other videos why I like to use the Pack 5523 to drive three-phase BLDC motors, but notice how thanks to its integration we can end up with a solution which is more powerful than the obsolete technology and yet occupies considerably less space. Okay, so the motor has been put in place and now I want to quickly discuss the electronics and the connections. So first thing I want you to notice is that I have placed my Q-Turn 523 board on the same cavity where this old solution would have resided. And you know, it's basically thanks to the integration provided by the Pack 5523 that we need way less space. So these are the three phase outputs that we're gonna use to power the motor. And these are the whole sensor signals that we're gonna use to generate the commutation sequence. One cool aspect of the Path 5523 is that it has all of the linear regulators that are ne needed to power up your system. Like for example, I'm using 5 volts, the 5 volt LDO, to power the whole sensors. Then we have the potentiometer, which is powered by the 3.3 volt LDO, and we're going to use this guy to control the motor speed. And last but not least, we have the interface for the toggle switch, which we're going to use to determine the direction of rotation on the motor or whether the motor works. If you recall, up is forward, back is reverse, and center is no motion. All right, so we have everything that we need. I'm gonna put this back. I don't want chips in here because now we're going to apply power and get some chips. So here's my power source. I'm gonna connect my Milwaukee battery. It could be any battery, but this is 20 volts. Now I'm gonna power the board. I want to thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel and we're going to see you on the next one.